everyone, welcome to day two. My favourite part about yesterday's video was when right after I said I wouldn't be doing any editing, there was an immediate jump cut. Brady did the editing for me to get rid of all of the ums and extra stuff that I needed to cut out, so thank you very much. My other favourite thing was how optimistic I was that the video would only go for a minute. But that doesn't matter, I'm a talker and it was still fun, so whatever, who cares. Um, now what I got up to yesterday, uh, I didn't eat very much as you can see, but I did succeed in doing a 21 hour fast, so that's good even if it wasn't planned. I don't like to do them every day, but um, yeah, every second day is good for you. No exercise again, but um, you know, these things happen. Some of the things I need to improve is remembering to look at the right part of the camera. I think I need to put a little stick in there so I can see it. Some other things which I should concentrate on now are voice modulation and enunciation as not only does it make it a bit harder to edit, but those are things that are really important when talking in videos like this. So I'll practice and I'll see how I go. One of the things I spent a lot of time looking into yesterday was something called aph aphantasia. I learned about it the night before from a lovely YouTuber called Miss Amy Meow. Uh, now I didn't know what it was, but it was, uh, she basically gave a test and she said, picture an apple in your head. Now picture it with the stem. Now picture it on a green background. And now tell me zero to 10, how clearly you can picture it. And I can't picture things in my head at all. So I definitely have aphantasia. It's very much like ADHD, where you have the five executive functions and one of them is a very quiet internal voice and one of them is you can't visualize things properly. So I actually realized a lot of my YouTube channel and my plans are going to be about things like aphantasia and ways of approaching writing and creativity from a lateral or different perspective because um, I've developed a lot of those over the years because I have aphantasia and ADHD. So I wasn't upset when I found out I had that. It was a bit like misophonia and trypophobia. I've always known that people chewing makes me irrationally angry and I've always had a problem with looking at those irregular holes, the weird pod things, bot flies, etc. So when I found out that those things had actual medical terms for them, I got excited and same with aphantasia, at least I know what it is now and it actually makes a lot of sense with my life. So that is a good thing, I think. Diagnosis makes you feel better. Um, even if you've got a long way to go, it can still just, it's a relief to know you're not alone and lots of other people suffer from this too. So that's a lot, what a lot of my YouTube channel and creative stuff is going to be about, so I hope that helps you, because I've certainly gotten a lot of help from other people over the years and I'd love to repay that. And finally, today is thank you for existing for the day. This one goes to Serendipity and Leon Lush. They won't all be about YouTube channels, but I was really excited yesterday because I was watching one of his videos. He makes fun of fake liars, people like that on YouTube who are just very misleading. Um, and at the end of his video, he actually talked about, just went off topic and talked about how he loves watching motivational videos, but there's a certain point at which you're constantly motivated, but you're not actually doing anything. So just stop and do it. And I was like, that's exactly what I'm right doing right now. Thank you. That's exciting. So yeah, thank you. And um, goodbye, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.